Hey, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly real world experience talks about gear and my experience with using them. So I love old roller flexes and old leather cases. And I was at an antique store and they had this roller flex and it had a strap on it and it's a nice camera. I'm going to actually give it to a friend to work with because he's never had a roller flex and I was able to pick it up pretty inexpensively and it had a leather strap on it. I love leather. Everything leather is beautifully made. You know, people made things quality back then. The whole case is in leather. But the strap is actually this strap. But as soon as I picked it up, I had to quick catch the camera because the camera strap broke. Because leather isn't always that good. Sometimes it rips. And you look at it and it looks perfectly strong when you're putting it over your shoulder, but then the weight of the camera takes place and next thing you know, your camera's on the ground because this leather should not be this brittle that it rips. And I saved it so I could show you. And I had a Leica case that I was looking to put another camera into. And I said, oh, I'll try that for my other. And let's first, we have to check it though first. Oh, it rips. If I can rip it in pieces, it's not going to support the camera. It's going to drop the camera. And I've had leather break on me. You may have heard the story of, I bought an eight by 10 camera at a antique store in a town south of me. It came with a lens, it came with some film backs, film, film uh, holders, all made of wood. And it was the most beautiful wooden camera from 1902 called a Century Number no. Two. And I had it on a tripod right here on the porch where I'm sitting. I took a photograph of it and then I went to take it off the tripod and put it away. And as I lifted it off the tripod, I took it by the bottom of the camera and the handle, which was a beautiful leather handle. Except for the leather handle, once it had weight on it, ripped and the whole wooden camera fell to the ground, broke into pieces, and I started to cry. Because this camera has been around for 116, 118 years. I've had it for less than a day and I drop it. But that's because I can't trust leather and you can't either. And I was lucky that it was just one part of the front rail that broke and I was able to take it over to a local woodworker and he actually remade that camera part. And so now that whole camera is working fine and I photographed portraits with that eight by 10 camera and I love it. But it was one of those things where I'm like, I didn't, it doesn't look like it would be bad. It looks like it should be perfectly strong. But I ended up pulling out a whole bunch of things. So this leather strap, there's a Leica 2 in here and I'm, I have to be willing to try to rip it. I'm not trying to like ease up on it and not really try. I want to really tear at it because if it rips, then I don't have a case with a strap anymore. But I can't be worried about, well, I, I just hope it's okay. These straps all, this one's a little tougher here, but it still rips. You should not be able to do that with a leather strap. If it's ripping, that just tells you that it's brittle and it's going to tear. All of these. So I ended up with like this whole group of straps from different Leicas. So the Leica leathers, all of these are, are straps that are dead. And I only brought them out so I could show you. But so if you find a leather strap and you think it's safe, tear at it. If you're not sure, replace it. I love those Domkey gripper straps. If you've ever tried those, I think those are the most beautiful straps. And I use them a lot. And I have one leather strap. It's actually this one, but Mary Lee bought this for me. And it's a leather strap that I got. I think it's available online. I can't think of the name. It's a uh, just a simple brown leather strap. And I like it because it doesn't advertise the brand of camera like the camera straps that come with the cameras. But this is new leather. I can tear at this all day. This isn't going to rip. This is new. But those old camera straps are beautiful, but they aren't necessarily trustworthy. And that Rolleiflex, I was sure it looks perfect. I put it over my shoulder and next thing you know, the whole thing is taking a drop and I'm able to grab it. But it's like scary to think that it might have taken a fall and 
trust the cases. The cases, they end up tearing up a little bit. Sometimes the stitching comes apart. Yeah, that's not the perfect thing. But overall, I'm not going to carry it by this. I don't even trust this strap. This is what's left of the strap that after I took the other one off. But I left it on there for, for looks, but I won't really carry it from it. And the goal of it is put a strap on there that you know is quality and good, or don't use that strap. But the leather straps, I've had so many examples of old vintage leather that look good. They actually, the one on that 8x10, 8, 8x10 camera looked really good. It looked perfect. And it was still brittle and still ripped. And you end up dropping the camera. And I even like uh, on regular straps, I'll always double check, you know, on a regular basis that nothing is starting to work its way loose. Because sometimes I've had straps that had, you know, rings and the ring is starting to work its way out. And I'm always checking those things because the last thing I need is one ring to pop out and the camera takes a fall and I'm dropping the thing. So straps are important. I like good straps and I love a good leather strap, but it has to be one that isn't so old that it's dry rotted and it's going to fail you. And I have had a lot of experience with camera straps that don't work. And so if you can tear it in half, no matter how much you think you're trying too hard, you're, you can't try too hard. If you can tear it in half, it needs to go. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying it, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks so much to all my watchers, and I'll be back, and all my supporters. And I'll be back next week. We'll talk more photography. I welcome your comments. As always, here's the good light.